All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, Isa. How you doing, my girl? Hi, teacher. I am. I am great. Thank you. <laughs> I, awesome. A little bit tired, but that's okay. <laughs> Hi. Why? <laughs> well, a lot of things to do today. No, I am imagine. <laughs> you cannot imagine. There's a lot of things that I have to do every single day. Yeah, my eyes, my eyes feel like chilly right now. <laughs> that means that I gotta rest a little bit. I need to put like some eye drops, and then I think I need to go to sleep early today. Ah. Yes, because tomorrow I need to start working around 6 a.m. in the morning. Wow, it's sad for you. <laughs> yes, I know. I need to wake up at 5.30 a.m. But I can see you you enjoy your your work. Oh, yeah, definitely. I <laughs> yeah. do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> sometimes I said, uh, should I continue working like this or not? <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I, I came up to my mom and like do like Shakespeare's like like a monologue. And I said uh -huh. to continue or not continue working. That's the question. When is your day off? Uh, I do have uh, right now uh four days off. <laughs> wow, it's yeah. awesome. <laughs> no, but you know what? It took me 15 years. <laughs> Yeah, 15 years to have, really? yeah, to basically got the schedule that I do have right now. Wow. <laughs> 15 years. But for me, it's, it's, it's enough. Oof, you can imagine 15 years with the same schedule. Well, the, the only problem is that I do not have vacations wow <laughs> no i don't for example i do have um the ones that you take it uh, annually right or yearly like the 15 days of your vacations but i do not have the vacation of from the states and i do not have the vacation from el salvador oh. of course they paid a double but yeah to be honest with you i prefer to to take a rest yes i know mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes i already got used to it because i'm gonna work the 25th, I'm going to work the 30th, the 31st, the 1st. I'm going to work. Mm. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's fine. I already get used to it. Can it's you okay. imagine? Yeah. 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 I, you know, at the first time that I started my work in a different company, same, mm -hmm. because I work for a U.S. company mm -hmm. here in El Salvador. So basically, uh, they used to be sell like uh, office supplies for college and um, schools like that. So basically, that was nice because, of course, the public that we uh, offer our service, that would be like basically education, right? So when they close, we have a day off. Uh, so day, for example i remember i used to have nice. <laughs> martin luther king's date i used to have the president's date i used to have four of you light off <laughs> hands given and all the stuff of course because they were like clothes right it was uh, uh, <laughs> it was nice was then I, I used to work for um for a dental insurance company also um also, I used to work for an airline, uh, baggage and reservations. I used to work also as a translator and interpreter. So, wow. I like your work. <laughs> and, but it's really heavy. It's not easy. It I am Mayan. You cannot imagine. <laughs> because translator is it's like a writing thing, right? But interpreter, that's the that's the difference. Translator is when you translate like documents, right? Like uh -huh. right. But interpreter is like speaking at the same time. Wow. Yeah. I like I like it. But it's, but it's really hard. <laughs> yes. Because um you gotta learn a lot of vocabulary. A yes. lot. A lot because sometimes you imagine the last interpreter that I had done. 
with a co-worker, of course, with a friend who was from logistics, <laughs> for accounting. That is not my 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 world, right? But I gotta learn it because I need to be in, uh, I need to, to be in the same space. Wow. <laughs> so I gotta learn like, like a lot of accounting words that like, oh well, well, yeah. <laughs> because I used to interpret for here in El Salvador, but the ones that came they are from they were from India. Wow. So even though they had they spoke English, but they had their accent. Yeah. So I, I can I I, skills. I I hear that. Yeah, the Indians, the mm -hmm, accent is different for the Americans. <laughs> oh yes, totally different. <laughs> Jamaican ones, Australian ones, British ones. Oh yes, totally yes. different. The best way for you to develop your skills is actually being a call center. Oh yes, at least you're listening one. You're listening, you're reading, and you're typing. Oh yes, that would be Excuse one me. of my best requests. <laughs> Alex. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good uh, evening. Good night. You mentioned call center. Um, yes. What do I to do for uh, uh, maybe prepare to make an appointment? Or, Be more self confidence. Uh, self confidence. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. One. Second of all, you gotta answer what they ask you. Yeah. Because sometimes, and, and tell me, Alex, it's not truth. Salvadorian, they ask us a specific question. And we start giving the answer, but then we're starting giving the whole history, the whole soap opera, and we add extra information that was not necessary. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, like, yeah, in, yeah. Uh, Americans are like that. Go straight to the point. Okay. It's got to be... Use two, three words, like, but the necessary things to talk about. Ah, yes. you got, That's why I'm doing these kind of exercises with you. The listening skills, the writing skills, the, the uh, reading skills. Because sometimes you got to do three things at the same time. What? Depends for that. Three depends for that account that you are going to apply for. But you got to do three things at the same time. Listening, writing, and reading. Yes, yes. So that's why I'm preparing you for that. Okay, okay. I got to prepare for it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah. Maybe next year I... Yeah, why not? Try to... Of course. <laughs> Maybe I got it. Maybe yeah, I say you guys... Year, you know? the, yeah, talking about that, Alex. I send I you um, the listening like ones. That. What happened? Uh, Sorry. So I'm to interrupt you. Go ahead. I hopefully rip with, uh, to that for... To get the job there? Yeah, that would be awesome. Why not? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, you got to put some extra effort, but that's okay. It, yeah. it, it's a good, it's also an amazing goal that you have. Why not? Yeah, I will try. Yeah, yeah I will help but you because I, I do have 15 years of spirits in a call center by environment. Yeah, the, ooh, the, the part that is... That's... And Very, don't uh, don't be nervous. Okay. That's one of the things because sometimes when we are nervous, we're like blah, 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 and that's like, like you're dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't be nervous. And also try to think on possible questions that they will um formulate to you because sometimes they said, Hey, tell me something about yourself. Uh, could you please let me know in your own words what is a customer service skills means? What is a customer service for you? And um, sometimes they said, hey, do me a favor. Can you cook? Yeah. Okay. Hey, what is a special meal that you can cook? For example, cereal with milk. <laughs> it's an example, right? Yeah. And, and they said, okay, describe it to me. Give me the recipe. Give me the steps to follow. And you're like, damn. <laughs> yeah, so things like yeah. that. Uh, you got to think out of the uh, box because they are like that. They, they... How you see yourself in five years? Kind of questions like that. They sometimes want to describe something like 
like the personality the mm -hmm. my my self personality you know my exactly yeah. you're right and talking about that alex that is really awesome what you took because i was about to ask you that questions talking about personalities that you mentioned alex uh, do me a favor i want to ask you these questions uh because each of us like alex is a christian frank louis we have our personal qualities is that right guys or not? Hello? Yes. Yes, all right. We do have our personal qualities. Tell me, um, can you please come up with an, a specific personal quality? For example, let me ask you. Uh, some of us have artistic appreciation. Artistic appreciation. So tell me. What do you think, or from who do you think we learn those things? From parents, from school, or our own? What do you think? Artistic appreciation. Uh huh. Other, I think, others. <laughs> others, okay. Awesome. Uh huh. What about um, communication skills from our parents, from school, from your own, a combination? I don't know. What do you think? For me, I think both the the the, the two, one and the number two. Ah, from... are you agree with Alex, guys? I think it's a combination. A combination. All right. As, as Alex says, from parents and from school, what about competitiveness? Competitiveness. Competitividad. Competitiveness. At school, maybe, because... Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. What if I compare with uh -huh. the grades with my partner, maybe? <laughs> All right, okay. And uh, in the knowledge, too. Mm -hmm. What about concern from others? Concern from others. Do you know what concern is? Hi, Christian. Hi, Frank. Hi, David. Concern from others. To share good evening. Good evening for los demás. Concern. Uh -huh. From your yeah, parents? Uh, yes. That's from two things, from mm -hmm. parents and from the... From uh, school, church, all uh -huh, people, church maybe. As well, all so people. Can... Mm -hmm. Correct. In what my about... case, now. Mm -hmm. What the about religion. cooperation? Yeah. With my partner, maybe because I the want work. to be a, mm -hmm. a best person. Maybe. Okay, that's awesome. What do you think? Uh, oh, David is eating. Hey, enjoy it. He's like, mm. his, his cheeks are like this. Mm. <laughs> For me, he will like, excuse me, teacher. <laughs> All righty. Frank, Christian, tell me, um, what about um, courtesy and creativity? Do we learn it from parents, from others, from school? Yeah, from friends and school. Mm-hmm. Are you agree with him, Frank? I'm sorry, teacher. I understand uh, what I talked about. Uh, we are talking about personal qualities. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. And the personal qualities that we're talking about, uh, they are like a lot, right? Cooperation, caring about others. In this case, um, we're talking about uh, right now, Courtesy, creativity. So I'm just asking them, from who do we learn to develop those skills? Who help us develop those skills? Our parents, from school, from others. What do you think? 
Uh, I think when uh, I wanna learn it, I I can you I can you see the uh, all the all skill I I have I have with partner, family, friends, school, uh, TV, YouTube, list, music, everything. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What about guys? Tolerance, perseverance, self confidence. From who do we learn that? By our own? From the family. The family. The family? Okay. So family yes. is crucial, right? How, Carlita? Family is crucial, exactly, to help us develop those skills. And guys, do you think that those skills help us in our lives? For example, Surely. when you will, when we need to make yeah. emotional decisions, yeah. like what we're gonna do, where we're yeah. gonna study, etc. Yes, right. And for example, if we need, uh, if we are studying right now, what you are learning right now, what you're doing right now is to learning a foreign language. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Yes, of course. So you're learning a foreign language. You're trying to basically speak like a native. You're trying to improve your intonation, your accent, uh, your grammar knowledge, your English knowledge, cultural knowledge, etc. Do you think that the personal qualities or skills that we have right now been talking about, do you think that will help you to, when you're Gorgeous. learning this foreign language? Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, yes, of course. Of course. Really do. Mm -hmm, of course, right, Dana? And we have and we um, exactly we have different ways that we use to try basically to improve our English skills, right? And that is basically it is really um together, or we can say that is part or is crucial because it depends on our personality, right? Some of us have developed specific skills more than another. For example, some of us are like uh, good active listeners. Some of us, we are basically good in memorizing. Some of us are really good at grammar. So some of us, we don't have any clue about what they're talking about, right? Of course, yeah, we have a different ways. Everybody, they do not learn at the same space and at the same level at the same time than others, right? We are totally different. But the personal skills that you have mentioned and that you have learned from home, uh, from school, from others, help us or help you to learn faster or not to learn faster, but at least to continue working hard. For example, tell me guys, do you remember what your parents or your mother or your grandma, that person who you grow with, told you about constancy, perseverance. They said, never give up. Do you remember a specific um, advice that they gave you? Yes, teacher, of course. Yes, right. <laughs> Maybe you were already, already an adult. And they gave you that advice when you were just a little baby. But that marked you so deeply that even though you're an adult, you're already married with children, whatever, but you still remember that advice. You took it with you, right? And it helps you in your entire life. So that's what we're doing right now. Today, we're going to practice, as I let you know, we're going to practice the writing activity of what we have seen yesterday. But at the same time, we're going to learn a different topic. We're going to also practice the writing. And at the same time, we're going to speak. Alex says, yes, yes, that's what I like. Yeah, definitely. And that's what I like too. Hey, and talking about that, now that I know that you are amazing students and you have a, like a huge memory, right? That's what I think. I think you have an elephant memory, but let me try. Let me try. <laughs> hey, do you remember which were the two birds that we saw yesterday? Would rather end? Prefer. And prefer, exactly. 
So for example, sometimes they give you an options, right? This or this. And you ask her with I'd, remember I'd, the contraction of would. So when you use the word rather, I rather, what type of verb do you use? The base form or the infinitive? Base form. Base form. Exactly. Can, can I have an example? Thank you so much. You are so great. Thank you, um, Carlita. Like, you can you can take the same example that we have seen yesterday. Don't worry about it. With rat. Um, I I start to stop. Okay. Yeah, take your time. No rush, but don't take the the entire class, please. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alrighty. For example, if I said, would you rather study um psychology or engineer? I rather rather study psychology. Yeah, very good. Exactly. You see, you gave me an example. Awesome. <laughs> That's my girl. Woo -hoo. All right. Maybe I got it. What about we video. prefer? I prefer to study Excellent. engineer. I prefer to study engineer. Exactly. You see, I knew it. You're a spy girl. You <laughs> almost, you're almost like panic, right? But don't worry. Hey, you know, you see, Alex, that's one of the things that helps you be more confident. You don't know what they're gonna ask you about, and you gotta be prepared no matter what question they ask you about. So like. And she, you see, she's self-confident. Okay, let me help you. Oh, oh, you help me. That would be much better. You help me with this writing practice. Let's do it together. Let me double check what I have here. Do, 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 do. There you go. But let me just pick something really quickly. Are you ready to help me or not? Yep. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hopefully. Uh-huh. All righty. Okay, I do have a really, really easy peasy quizy thing. So let's do it together. It's not complicated a lot because I know that you already learned that. that. So it's, it's going to be easy for you. Let's see what I have here. There you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, just let me know as soon as you're able to see my screen, please. Just let me know. Okay, are you able to see it? Not yet. What about now? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. All right. Yes. Okay. So you said we got to complete the conversation with would and the appropriate form of the verbs in parentheses. That means this one, you see, sign up, take, learn, go, attend, have, take, hire, work, have. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. The first, this is a mini, they are like mini, Um, we can say a mini dialogues, guys. Those are mini dialogues. And the letter A's, all the letter A's, so most of the letter A's are questions. And the letter B's, of course, will be the answers. So tell me, we have, you prefer for a course in biology or geography? What should I put here? What mother bird we have seen? Would you prefer? Would you prefer? Uh huh. Sign. Sign. Uh huh, in. Uh -huh Alex. Sign up. Uh huh. To uh huh. To sign up. For a course in biology or geography. In biology or geography. Okay. Hey, is everybody agree with Alex? Yes. yes or no? Uh huh. Yes. 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 So you said wood here, right? Ooh, hoo, hoo, teacher. Yes, let's quiz me. So you said wood, and you said here to sign up, right? Sign up. To sign up. Okay. That's the phrase of verb. That's it. There you go. Awesome. All right, what about letter B? I'm not really interested in geography, so I prefer 
To take in. To, to take to or take. to take? To take. To take. take. Yes, awesome. Take. A biology course, right? Okay. What about B? Well, number two, sorry. You rather English in England or in Canada? Would you rather? Would you rather? Would you rather? Learn. Okay. Learn. Uh-huh. Learn. Would you rather learn? Uh-huh. All righty. B, to tell you the truth, I prefer to not study. Not to not study. study to or not, not to study. Not to study. Not to study, yes. Not to study. Remember that we prefer, we got to use infinitive, but this is a negative way. So the not is before the infinity. Not to study. In either place, I rather. Rather, do not miss no. I rather what? Go, 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 go. Uh, Zach, go. Base form, correct. Number three, if you needed to learn a new skill, question, you see, would, would you exactly to attend a class, attend. would you prefer? To attend, to attend, to attend uh, a class. To attend what? Class or? Oh. How? To have. Private. Or to have. To have, because remember that we're still using the, the verb prefer. To have a private mm -hmm. tutor. Okay. I rather <laughs> take. Take. Awesome. I rather take what? Class. A class. A class. Then. then Hire a tutor. Hire. hire. You know what hire is, right? Contratar. Okay. All right. And number four, the last question, the last uh, mini dialogue. Would you rather? You rather, rather have, have, a have a job. Have, have a job. Have a job. Yeah, yeah, very good. Work. Work. Office or? Work. Work. Outdoors, Work. right? Oops. Teacher. Yes, of course. Okay, I definitely rather have. Yeah, have, um, have. You see, you're smart guys. Okay, now they already resolve this as writing activity. Do a, let's let's practice on the intonation of the questions and also to join the ideas. Let's practice the first question in first dialogue number one. Would you prefer to sign up for a course in biology or geography? One more time. Let's well. just listen, just listen. Would you prefer to sign up for a course in biology or geography? Now, guys, it's your turn. Go ahead. Would you prefer to sign ah, up? No, would you prefer to sign up for a course in biology or, ge or geography? Biology. 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 biology biology yes biology remember biology you see biology geography okay everybody would you prefer to sign up for a course in biology or geography would you prefer would you to prefer sign up for a course in biology or geography, biology or geography? very good i'm not really interested in geography I'm not really interested in geography. I'm not really interested in geography. I'm not really interested in geography. So I prefer to take a biology course. So I prefer to take a biology course. I prefer to take a biology course. Biology course. Biology. Okay, course. good. If you see, guys, this letter B, we have practiced the pronunciation in two parts. The first part, the, the comma, and then the second part. Now, guys, let's read everything together. I'm not really interested in geography, so I prefer to take a biology course. Do it, guys. I'm not really interested in geography. I'm not really interested in geography. So I prefer to take a biology course. Very good. Now do me a favor. 
try to sound more natural. Like if you're basically giving your opinion. For example, when you're saying, hey, mira, fíjate que yo preferiría, no soy de diseño de geografía, pero preferiría tomar clases de biología. ¿Sí? Como que tú tienes una intonation cuando tú estás dando tu opinión, right? That's what I need to hear in English. I'm not really interested in geography, so I prefer to take a biology course. Deling, you can do it. I'm not really interested in biology. So I prefer to take biology course. Awesome. Number two. Would you rather learn English in England or Canada? Would you rather learn English in England or Canada? To tell you the truth, I prefer not to study in either place. I prefer not, not to study, not to in, either study in this place. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go to Australia because it's warmer there. I'd rather, I'd go, rather go, go to Australia, Australia because it's warmer there. I'd rather go to Australia because it's warmer there. I'd rather go to Australia because it's warmer there. Warmer there. Okay, it's, war it's warmer there. It's warmer, warmer. Okay, now let's join all what you have answered. To tell you the truth, I prefer not to study in either place. I'd rather go to Australia because it's warmer there. Oop! What, teacher? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. I gotta take a deep breath. <sighs> Respiro profundo, señora. Okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I go for it. Demole, <laughs> you can do it. Hold your horses, my dears. All right. Veamos las primeras dos partes. ¿Les parece? To tell you the truth, I prefer not to study in either place. Deling, you can do it. I prefer not to study. Again, to tell you the truth, I prefer not to study in either place. Okay, one more time. Si, si meten las cuatro hasta que le hacemos, hasta que le hagamos, ¿le parece? Yes. Okay. Vaya. Respiration profundo, and then we're going to do it. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I prefer not to study in either place. To tell you the truth, I prefer not to study in either place. place. Okay, vaya, añadamos el último. To tell you the truth, I prefer not to study in either place. I'd rather go to Australia because it's warmer there. Very good. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. Very good, guys. Ya ven? Más altura. Yes, very good. Number three. Mm -hmm. If you needed to learn a new skill, would you prefer to Need attend to class to or to have school. a private tutor? Deling. If you needed need to learn, learn, learn a new skill, skill would you prefer to have a private tutor? Very good. I'd rather take a class and hire a tutor. I'd rather take a class and hire a tutor. Class hire a tutor. Class a tutor. 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 Okay, Total. very good. Total. Number four, would you rather have a job in an office or work outdoors? Would you, would you rather, rather have, have, have an office or work outdoors? Outdoors. 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 Ajá. Hay algo que vamos a mejorar en algo. En esto. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Esto, say it de un solo. A job in a, in an office. In an office. A job in an office. In an office. Si ustedes se fijan, in an office. In an, in an office. In an office. In an office. An office. In an office. Necesito que join, que unan these two pronunciations. <clears throat> This in, one. An in an office. In an office. Together. In an office. In an office. All right. An office. Excellent. All right. This is the principio. Would you rather have a job in an office or work outdoors? Would you rather have a job in an office or work outdoors? Would you rather have a job in an office or work outdoors? 
Would you rather have Would a job in an office or work outdoors? A job in an office or work outdoors. Exactly. I definitely have rather have a job where I'm outdoors. I definitely rather have a job where I'm outdoors. Oh, yeah. Very good. You see? Guys, you're an amazing beat. You see? Practice intonation, practice pronunciation. A la primera, you, you escucharon como, would you rather, da, 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 da. But when you are practicing, you sound more natural. Guys, I want you to like, it's trying to say your opinion about something. When you give an opinion about any topic, for example, what I was asking at the beginning of the, of the class, I was asking you, hey, from where do you think we learned this? And you said, hey, yes, we learned this from parents teacher will learn us from school teacher will learn us from other you were giving your opinion the intonation because you were self-confidence you were sure about your word what you were saying so that's what i need here if we practice the intonation if we practice the pronunciation if we practice the joining the joining of of the words you will sound more natural you will sound more self-confidence and that's what I like. And that's what I need. So I know that sometimes you want to kill me and you are on your right. <laughs> me too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All righty. But yeah, you see, practice. We're practicing. How do you feel? You feel much better, right? You feel like, hey, I'm speaking English. Woohoo! Yeah, and that's great. That's what we need. More self-confidence, more self-intonation. Louise, my man, Louise, hi. I'm gonna I'm gonna see your song like Louise, Louise. Do you remember that? Arjona's, right? Yeah. No, it's not yeah. Arjona. It's like Arjona? That, no, wasn't enough that Franco, Franco, Franco de Vita. Franco de Vita. Yeah. Come on, come on, teacher. What you don't have a music knowledge, right? Mm. No. <laughs> I didn't see anything. Yeah, yeah, sometimes my hamster doesn't work really fast. <laughs> I apologize for that. It's a little bit slowly. <laughs> yeah, especially for music topic. Nah, nah, nah. That is not my my hard part that we can say, it, or my strong part. Okay. After this commercial, let's go back to business, right? <laughs> All righty. So, guys, now we're going to do something. Now we're going to do something. Okay, I'm going to send you this little things, these little mini dialogues that we have practiced. We have practiced the intonation of the questions. We have practiced the joint on the idea, the pronunciation of I do, which is a construction of would. But instead of you repeating the same thing, I want you to give it um, your own answer. Let me give you an example. Let's go back to business. Let's let me show it one more time, and I will explain to you what I would like you to do. Okay, tell me how as soon as you're able to. Look. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, remember number no, number two. You said, "Would you rather learn English in England or in Canada?" Okay, the the answer is here, letter B. But I want you to give your opinion. For example, Christian, si alguien te preguntara, ¿a, a ti dónde te gustaría leer, aprender inglés? ¿En England, en, en Inglaterra o en Canadá? Y tú te dices, to tell you the truth, la verdad. Puedes decir lo que está ahí si es lo que tú opinas. Pero si tú dices, I prefer to study in the United States. O I prefer not to study in either place. O I prefer to have a tutor. ¿Me entiendes lo que yo quiero? Cuando yes. te hagan las preguntas, when they formulate the questions, I want you to answer with your own information. But, of okay. course, practicing rather, based on the verb, preferred, plus infinitive. Okay, uh, actually, great. So you have the four dialogues. I'm going to send it to you right now, so you can have it. I will send it to you via WhatsApp. And uh, you're going to practice with your co worker, I think it's gonna be like, um, I will give you like five minutes, it will be enough time. Okay, so let's see. I will send it to you right now the four mini dialogues, and you gotta practice the four, my dears. 
Why? Because the teacher... I have a question. Uh -huh, tell me. In, in this case, uh, when when someone asked me about uh, the rudder or uh, if I prefer, I uh, I I should the, 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 the use the 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 word that the people uh, question. What? The, the same this was en español. Si alguien me pregunta si yo prefiero o si yo con, con rather o con, con prefer, mi respuesta tiene que ser con la que la persona ocupe por ley. Depende de tu respuesta. Puedo usar, puedo usar yo cualquiera de las, de las of dos. Of course. Con solo ah, que okay. uses el, el verb tense correcto. Ah, ok. Porque, porque no, puedo, no puede ser tajante en eso como en otras en otros tipos de preguntas porque va a depender de tu propia respuesta. Okay. Thanks. Hoy sí. Awesome. Yes. Guys, I sent it to you already. Did you receive it via Sorry. WhatsApp? Sorry, I have a question only for uh -huh, knowledge Luis. proposals. Ash. Um <laughs> sorry. Ush, okay. No, in, go ahead. Come on. That's in, good. In Canada I speak English. Yes, of course they do. Mm, really? Yeah. I think I have... only only speak uh, French right? and and Canadian. I don't know. No, no, no. De definitely, of course, they have the Canadian English, Canadian okay. French. Yes, okay. they do. They do. There are some um provinces, provinces, right? Our provinces. Yeah, yeah. Um, Here, there's in the states, in the states, right? But yeah. there are some, for example, that they only speak French. For example, just catch a one. Quebec. Quebec, Quebec, yes. Uh, Quebec, for Quebec. example, Ottawa, they they speak both. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they do. But you know what? The the English that they do speak is totally different. Mm -hmm. From American, it's totally different from Australian, and it's totally different from British. Well, I I prefer the, the English in the United States because um in 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 British in England is like a blah, 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 and you I don't understand uh, anything. Really? I thank you so much for letting me know that. Everybody will give you paranda. I I will I a hundred percent sure about that. <laughs> if you want me to yeah, speak but... in British accent, I can definitely do it. Yeah. Yes, of course. Do it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I, can definitely I don't know. Do it. I, I, for example, I uh, saw an uh, interview to to Adele, uh -huh. and well, really, I don't understand <laughs> that they they spoke because much uh, much of uh our words uh, do her do she do she use is very very difficult to to understand. Uh, I think it's about the modulation. Mm -hmm. The emulation of a language, but I don't know. It's it's complicated. It is complicated, but but it's a challenging one. Yeah, but uh -huh. you know what? You gotta learn it because it will be really happy if we were gonna speak with um with American people every single day. But guess what? That's not true. Mm. So it's really nice to listen to different type of accent. Okay. Because for example. Uh, when they are giving you, let's let me give you an example. This is a commercial, guys. Commercial part two. <laughs> Thanks to Luisito, right? All right. No, but it's but it's nice when you have but you have asked for it. Um, when they are giving you, for example, the spelling or of an of a name or for example of email address, they're not going to say Z as in zebra. Okay. They pronounce the Z. As in Z. They will say Z instead of Z. I love the accent wow. from England. From yeah, the... that's first. In yes. H, they're not going to, to say H. They're going to say H. Wow. So it's really important because um because you will you will understand what they're talking about. I'm gonna send you guys something today. Talking about that British accent thing to my man, Luis. 
Everybody loves them. <laughs> that what I'm gonna send you. Maybe it could be like easy peasy queasy, but you're going. I'm going. To, I want you guys to practice and to put it and to listen it as many times as you need to. This is going to be really easy peasy queasy. I'm gonna send you dictation exercises. Oh, dictation exercises about. Numbers. Uh, and then when you finish telephone numbers, you see? Numbers, numbers. You see? Numbers. Telephone numbers. Um, I'm gonna tell you, uh, I'm gonna send you um email addresses. And then I'm gonna send you shipping addresses. Yes, Luis, I know that you love me. <laughs> and then yeah, I'm gonna send you first circle. names. You see, first names and last names. Isn't it amazing? And Louis said, "I better have my mouth shut." <laughs> totally. No, but you know what? That's good. Okay. 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 I, I swear. Answer, teacher. Until the end of the course, I will not formulate a question anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, my man. But that's good, Luis. And also, I will send you a video where you will listen for, let's see, no, three. Yes, let's see. Uh -huh. Three teachers that they are coming from different countries. One teacher that is, speaks American, English. One teacher that it speaks Australian and one teacher that speaks British. And they will share, they will share, you see? Share, share, you see? I, you turn my British accents on, Luis. <laughs> All righty. But you're gonna listen to the different pronunciations and also you're gonna listen some common words and some different words. For example, in American, we, the, the place where you live, you call apartment, right? Apartment. But in British, you call that flat. For example. And for American people, flat is something flat. Yeah? That, that doesn't have like a, like a form, right? In Americano, apartamento says apartment. In Britannico, se dice flat. Pero, para un americano, si oyes la palabra flat, es algo que no tiene forma, que es completamente plano. Como ponerte un ejemplo. No les voy a dar más detalles, lo voy a aplicar. What about fried, fried potato? In, in British, it's, it's a different. Yeah, it is. Different word. Exactly. David, we are about to ask something. Go ahead. <laughs> I was about to tell the same example that Ay, the so... French fries, my man. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. French fries. And chips. But you will see. You will <laughs> know the information that I will send you. Okay, guys. It's try to practice. Practice makes perfection. So let me see who's going to be with who. Let me double check. I'm gonna create it. Basically, how many we are? Eighteen. Without me, will be 17. How many groups of two? Uh, ten, nine, right? Okay. Seven. Yes, and, teacher. And one, uh, one group of three people. No, but I prefer to be pairs. Let's see. Carlitos is going to be with Christian. Let's see. Who else? Mr. David will be with Ida. Mr. Frank will be with Carlita. All right, let's see who else. Isa will be with Catherine. Seta Jones. Luisito will be with Alexander Graham Bell. Let's see who else. 
Uh, 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 let me move from here. Uh, 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 um, let me check. Glendy will be with Maria. Uh, 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 Nuvi will be with Ro. And I think I'm missing one more. Yes, I think so. Yes. There you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Rebecca, Ruti, and Sami. All right. Guys, do me a favor. Accept the invitation of the small groups. You got only three minutes to practice. That will be enough. Accept the invitation, please. Alrighty, I need Isa to accept the invitation. Yeah. Raulito, Sammy, um, Carlitos, Ruti. Who else? Alrighty, let's please guys accept the invitation and practice with your partner, right? It's really important that you practice with your partner. Bye. Yeah, what you prefer in a for a course in biology or geography? Again, if you don't mind. <laughs> Kathy, okay, where are I... you, Kathy? I prefer, sorry, I pensé que le iba a repetir la pregunta. Ah, yes, yes, of course. Good. Solo, solo. Dale, go ahead. <laughs> I prefer to take a geography course. Team, you practice all, all of them. Now do me a favor, Catherine. Now you start the question number two and is an answer and so on. Okay. Would you rather learn English in England or Canada? <laughs> okay, in my case, I I prefer the both country because. Hey, Carlos. Carlitos, what happened? Carlitos, are you still there? Carlitos, hello. I think Carlitos Christian disappeared. Right? Yeah. All righty. Don't worry. Okay. What am I going to do? Basically, you can practice with me. Okay. Number one or number two? Number one. All right. Go ahead. You formulate the question and I'll answer. And okay. We change the rules. Okay. Okay, it's your, yo, your turn. Yo le digo la pregunta a yes, usted. Yes, of course. Oh. Dale, you can do it. Would you prefer to sign up for a course in biology or geography? I'm not really interested in geography, so I preferred to take a biology course. Okay, okay. hoy me toca a mí. Yo te okay. formulo y tú me respondes. Would you rather learn English in England or in Canada? To tell you the right. I prefer to not study in their place. I rather go to Australia because it's warmer there. 
All righty, very good. Now, okay. now you formulate the question. I know, I no, I will do it right. Yeah, if you needed to learn a new skill, would you prefer to attend um a class or to have a private tutor? I rather take a class that had a tutor. Oh, really? Okay, that's good. Now is your turn. Okay. Would you rather have a job in an office or work outdoors? Mm, I would rather, to be honest with you, uh, work outdoors. Okay. What about you? Uh, what significant is uh, outdoors? Or outdoors, yes. Outdoors significa trabajo de campo. Ah. Que no esté sentado en una oficina, right? Sino que ah. sea como una un trabajo así como más dinámico. Okay. What do you think? ¿Qué te gustaría? Uh, I definitely rather have a job where in uh, how do you say? Uh -huh. You can do it. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you say? How do you say it's in, in El Campo? Outdoors. Oh, oh, no, Outdoors. No, uh -huh. no. Outdoors. Uh -huh. Okay, este me refiero como le doy a entender este. Ese, ese trabajo, ahí lo tengo en la punta de la lengua. Es trabajo de campo. Sí, trabajo de campo. Que, exactly. Que, ¿Qué tipo de trabajo prefiero? Ajá, exacto. Ese, exacto. ¿cómo se dice? Would you rather? Cortar césped. Ah, doing like a gardener. A gardener. Gardener ah, es yes. algo como que trabajas en el jardín. Ah. ¿Lo hiciste? Eh, for example, eh, cosechar café. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yes. To cultivate coffee, for example. Yes. Y cosecha se dice harvest. Ok. Muy bien. Bueno, mira, ¿sabes qué? Lo vamos a cortar a tu compañero. ¿Vos qué dijiste? <ríe> sí, hombre, espérate, ya vas a ver. Ok. Vamos de regreso. Vamos a cortar estos bichos. Okay. Démosle, pues. ¿Me puedo salir? Sí. Sí, claro que ah, sí. Ok. Dale. Hi, you know what happened, guys? You're gonna laugh. You're gonna laugh about me. I was, I was speaking like I was saying, "It's Aura, it's Aura." <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I didn't realize that my microphone was mute. <laughs> Can you imagine? You said, "Teacher, come on." Yes, guys, it's the hamster. Of course, excuse me. That hamster is not working fine today. I told you, Isa. I was tired. Oh my goodness. Shame on you, teacher. Whoosh. Alrighty. Tomorrow, guys, I want to pick some of you. And I'm going to ask you to basically uh, do for me dial number one, number three, number four. And you got to be prepared. I will basically um evaluate um intonation, pronunciation, fluency and self-confident, but most important, I'm going to evaluate your own information that you're gonna express the answer in your own words. What do you prefer? I don't want you to read it for me. At least not the answer. The question, yes, but the answer, no. I want you your own opinion about that, okay? Now guys, talking about that and continue with that, I'm just going to play an audio right now about a dialogue about a dialogue of two friends that they're talking about how is everything going when they're learning a foreign language. For example, in this case, they're learning French. And one um, student or what friend asks another one, how's it going? 
uh, uh, what is she or he doing to improve their speaking, writing, and listening skills. So I want you guys to pay attention in this dialogue about tips, tips or advice that it will help you to improve your English skills, okay? That's what I need. So, yes, Thank almost you. finished. Only one minute. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Come on. Remember? Like Ricky Martin. All righty. Okay. So, let's... Going back to business. This will, this will be our last topic for today. But it will be like a bridge for tomorrow's deeply studying about this. All righty. Let's see. Okay, so let's put in practice this. Do bury me for a moment. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Teacher time. No, 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 no. Only one more. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we're going there. We're going there. Yes. No, that's not what I want. No. That's not what I want. That's what I want. Okay, this is what I want. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry, but it's not it's not me. It's a system that they don't want to cooperate with me. Page 52. Okay, cool. There you go. Now let me share my screen and we're almost finished. Okay, let's listen to the audio, but I need to select sharing audio. Okay. Exercise eight, conversation. Maybe I should try that. Part A. Listen and practice. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know, you could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm. Maybe I should try something like that. Okay. I'm going to leave it like that way and just think about what we and have seen right now. Exercise and yes, definitely. Maybe I should We're going to see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. <laughs> All righty. Okay, see you. Hugs, Good man. Night. Good kisses. Have an amazing night. Hopefully, Thank Hamza works better yesterday, tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Bye. Good night. Good night.